My name is Daniel Chung. I'm a former admission officer at Stanford University, Rice University, as well as Swarthmore College. I'm also a former college counselor, and I've been doing work, you know, supporting students with strategy since 2018. And I guess even before then, if you think about the admissions experience. So excited to bring my knowledge to the table. So the answer is both. Uh, Stanford is actually very unique amongst U.S. universities. The other two I would consider in the same category are Northwestern University and Duke University, where you have both world-class expectations for academics and also for athletics. So if Stanford were a country, it would often rank in the top usually like 20 uh, each year that there's an Olympic for like number of medals attained by current or former Stanford students. So going to the gym is kind of like uh, an exercise in humility, I would say, uh, when I used to attend the, the staff gym there. But the really cool thing about Stanford is that it does value potential in all its forms. So whether you are, let's say, a strong athlete or musician, but are not choosing to do that professionally or you know do music as a, as a major, for example, it's still okay. It could still be additive to the application and a strong consideration for kind of the, the addition to student life that you would bring to campus. It can also be a major focal point as well, like if you are a recruited athlete. So again, it, it really depends. There's a level of understanding because at Stanford, athletes fall into what I call a special talent category, just like strong musicians or someone who's won a singular writing award in their country or something like that where the other parts of their application are not expected to be as nationally strong as other students kind of on average. They still have to be very good students, but again, if you are literally the best in the world and breaking world records at something, you probably don't have time for a lot of, you know, AP tests, right? For uh, taking potentially that extra, extra level of challenge in math, despite your school offering it, you're still at a level of challenge and you're still doing well. But again, you can't min-max yourself, as the athletes like to say, uh, to that global level unless you're giving certain things up. So there's an understanding, of course, for students, whether it's athletes, musicians, researchers, uh, people who have started jobs, uh, started companies rather. Um, and you can see that in the Stanford pride in their alum who technically drop out and haven't even graduated, who then go on to be very successful. So there's a lot of permissiveness and a lot of understanding around, again, people who come from that category. But as long as you've got the baseline, then you know Stanford absolutely loves to see students in that category as well.